My name's Lisa Sullivan, I'm the curator here at Geelong Gallery and the curator of this current exhibition, Tricking the Eye, Contemporary Trompe l'Oeil. The translation of Trompe l'Oeil is literally Trick of the Eye and Trompe l'Oeil painting is a genre of painting that's been around for centuries. So at its very essence, Trompe l'Oeil painting is about two-dimensional painting uh, and painted in such a skillful way that it makes it appear as though the object is actually real or three-dimensional. So this exhibition has a very solid basis in painting. So we have artists who are painting on walls. We also have artists painting on stretch canvases, artists painting on three-dimensional forms, and indeed one artist who's painted on canvas and then formed that into a three-dimensional object. And I was also really interested in that idea of going back to the translation of Trompe l'Oeil, that notion of tricking the eye. So that's led me to bring in some three-dimensional works. So we have beautiful bronze sculptures by Ricky Swallow. Uh, we also have a textile-based installation by Georgina Q. And I've also expanded out into photography. So we see the work of Anza Helker. And then finally, thinking about Trompe l'Oeil very much in the 21st century, we have two large-scale projections. This exhibition brings the work of 12 artists together. And there's a mix of both existing works and also new works in the exhibition. And we've been very fortunate to receive funding through the Australia Council for the Arts to invite a number of artists to create new works for this exhibition. Uh, for example, Colleen Hearn and Tully Moore have been invited to create a new war commission as part of the exhibition. And also John R. Neeson and Stephen Bowers have also been invited to create new works. As a curator, my interest in this subject is very much around the idea that we live in an image-saturated environment in this 21st century, which is a fantastic thing. If we think about Trompe l'Oeil at the height of its popularity, the 16th, 17th century, it was a very different era. So that was very much the starting point for my thoughts around this exhibition. And also, conversely, it was around the idea that in this very image-saturated time that we live in, Sometimes we don't stop and pause and look at images. And I think the concepts around this exhibition are very much about um, looking at works, stopping, thinking, having a moment to read them and interpret them.